Hi, it's Maya here. I actually really like list videos. I don't know if other people find them that interesting, but I thought I'd do a video where I list all of the books that I bought in 2020 and tell you if I've read them or not. But first, a couple of stats. So in 2020, I bought or acquired 63 books. Out of those, 25 were physical books and 38 were ebooks. I didn't buy any audiobooks, but I did get one for free with an ebook. Out of the books that I bought, I bought 61% of ebooks, but out of the money I spent, I spent 80% of it on physical books. So you can see that I mostly get my ebooks from sales. I read 36 books out of the 63 books that I acquired. Of those, 16 were physical books and 20 were digital. So I read 58% of the books that I bought. And that means that I had 9 physical books and 18 ebooks left to read when 2020 ended. So now I'm going to list all of the books that I bought in 2020. So I split this into ebooks and physical books and unread and read. So first I'm going to show you all of the books that I've already read, both physical and ebooks, and then I'm going to show you all the books that I haven't yet read. So let's start with the physical books and comics that I acquired and read in 2020. Number one was The True Queen by Zen Zhou, then was My Sister the Serial Killer by Oyingan Braithwaite, um, then I bought The Girl from the Other Side Volume 8 by Nagabe. Next was an art book, this is Artworks 2 by Shigenori Soetima and Peace Studio Art Unit. Then I got The Hundred Thousand Kingdoms by N.K. Jemisin, which I had already read at the time that I bought it, I just wanted my own copy. The Angel of the Crows by Catherine Addison, Piranesi by Susanna Clark, Yellow Chesamine by Caitlin Starling, then a couple of mangas, Versailles of the Dead Volume 1 by Kumiko Suekane, A Gentle Noble's Vacation Recommendation by Misaki Momo Momochi and Sando, and Requiem of the Rose King Volume 1 by Ayakano. I also bought and read The Old Nurse's Story by Elizabeth Gaskell, The Hollow Places by T. Kingfisher. Final three are comics, those are Sobek by James Stocko, Cry Wolf Girl by Ariel Ries, and finally Interim by Alisa Chan. So those were all the physical books, now the ebooks and digital comics I acquired and read in 2020. First was The Four Profound Weaves by R.B. Lemberg, then I got the first issue of Far Sector by N.K. Jemisin and Jamal Campbell, then I also got Spell on Wheels Volume 1 by Kate Leth and Megan Levens, I got The Perilous Life of J.D.O. by Zen Cho, Food Baby by Lucy Bryan, which was a comic, Ping Zine, edited by Zainab Akhtar, which was also like an art zine, Witch Hat Atelier Volume 1 by Kamome Shirahama, The Long Distance by by Jean Wei, another comic, The Empress of Salt and Fortune by Ni Wo, this was a gift, Dragons of Autumn Twilight by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman, this one I had already read but I reread it, Moon Tangled by Stephanie Burgess, Artificial Condition by Martha Wells, another reread, Mapping the Interior by Stephen Graham Jones, Dragons of Spring Dawning by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman, again a reread, a couple of comics again, Frankie and the Creepy Cute Critters by Caitlin Rose Boyle, and Victor Laval's Destroyer by Victor Laval and Dietrich Smith. Then I also got Unread Babel 17 by Samuel R. Delaney, Frost Gilded by Stephanie Burgess, Tea and Sympathetic Magic by Tansy Rayner Roberts, and finally The Frost Fair Affair by Tansy Rayner Roberts. So now we're moving on to the books that I have left to read from last year. I'm gonna start with the ebooks because I want to show you the physical books last so that you can maybe tell me which I should read next. But the ebooks that I have left to read are Flotsam by R.J. Theodore, The Queen of Eflaria by Effie Calvin, very much bought because of Jean Boogie's thoughts, Phoenix Extravagant by Yoon Ha Lee, this was a net galley arc that I shamefully didn't get to, Mind Touch by M.C.A. Hogarth, Other Voices, Other Tombs by various people, this is an anthology, Little Game by Shannon Maguire, The Candlewine Gardener and Other Stories by Yoon Harley, Bonds of Brass by Emily Skrutsky, My Soul to Keep by Tanana Rivdu, Queen of the Conquered by Case and Calendar, The Broken Kingdoms by N.K. Jemisin, and Emergency Skin by N.K. Jemisin. Emergency Skin was the one that I got the audio for free. I also bought the Humble Horror Manga Bundle which gave me a bunch of horror comics. I got The Toll by Cherry Priest, Of Dragons, Feasts and Murders by Aliad de Bodard, which I did read in January, Network Effect by Martha Wells, Imposter Syndrome by Michelle Baker, and finally Empire of Gold by S.A. Chakraborty. So because I have already read Of Dragon's Feasts and Murders, that leaves me 17 ebooks from 2020 left to read. And now finally we are getting to the physical books that I have left to read from 2020. So let's get started. I have The Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyons. This is a high fantasy. I have The Hero and the Crown by Robin McKinley, which is a young adult fantasy. I have The City We Became by N.K. Jemisin, which is an urban fantasy. Escaping Exodus by Nikki Drayden is a science fiction book. In the Labyrinth of Drakes and 
Within the Sanctuary of Wings by Mary Brennan are the final two books in the Memoirs by Lady Trent series, which is sort of a historical fantasy set in a fantasy world, but with a historical feel. Harrow the Ninth by Tamsin Muir, which is a science fantasy. The Tyrant Baru Coromant by Seth Dickinson, which is the third book in the Masquerade series, which is a fantasy series. And finally, The Girl from the Other Side, Volume 9 by Nagabe, which is this sort of fairy tale -ish, um dark manga. So those were nine books, but out of those I have already read this year The Girl from the Other Side Volume 9 and Harrow the Ninth by Tamsin Muir, which I loved by the way. So I have seven physical books left to read out of the ones that I bought. So let me know which of these books I should read the fastest. Um, some of these are in series that I haven't read the previous volumes yet, but still let me know which one you have enjoyed or which one you would like to see me read. But that's all from me for now. Leave me a dragon emoji in the comments and let me know if you also like book lists videos. And I will see you in my next video.